I'm Dr. Yao Seiduchum, the Deputy Minister for Education and the MP for Bosom Train, our constituency. I recommend KSM Show to you. If you've not been watching it, make it part of your routine. Watch the KSM Show and look at the great things that are happening. This can meet wonderful people. And maybe, who knows, one day you may be on the show. When I was watching it, I never knew I would be on the show today. And today I am here. I commend uh, him for the great, the host, for the great job that he's doing. And by the way, he has a wonderful audience and um, be part of the whole fun. We're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. And uh, Jonathan, the first time I hosted you, you were with United Way. Yes, sir. Yes, doing sir. amazing work with the uh, corporate social responsibility yes, stuff. Sir. Now you have your, you're on your own. Yes, sir. Yes, and your, your company, or is it yes. NGO? It's also an NGO. It's also an NGO called, called Team CSR Ghana. Team CSR. Ghana. So it's Team Corporate Social Responsibility yes, Ghana. Sir. Yes, sir. Fantastic. Yes, sir. So you're carrying your Corporate Social Responsibility work from United Way. Yes, sir. You're now on your own. Yes, sir. Yes, Why did you go on your own very quickly? Well, I started on my own in 2013. Uh, after three years with United Way, and I decided to continue the work I've been doing for over 25 years, mm. which is helping people that are um, dismargined or those who are less fortunate. And you started in the U.S.? Yes, yes. I've been working in the nonprofit non sector for about 25 years in the U.S., um, just doing a lot of things. You know, before as I came on your show, I, I was working with the Homeless Commission in Atlanta, Georgia, mm. uh, helping homeless people who were featured on CNN and a couple other things like mm -hmm. that. And um, um, I decided to come back and help my people here in Ghana. And so that is what I've been doing, you know, my whole time here. Been back. Well, thank you for coming by. Shows a lot of for coming. <laughs> and you've been doing amazing stuff. Yes, but sir. today, I just want to concentrate on um, the Water for Life project. Yes, yes. Tell yes, me yes. a little bit about that. Well, the Water for Life initiative is um, um, one of the things that my NGO took aboard. Uh, we've been working on that through different communities all throughout mm -hmm. Ghana. Um, through some of our, our corporate partners. You know, mm -hmm. luckily we've been able to work with some of Fortune 500 companies, done some work with Vodafone and Chase Petroleum and mm -hmm. uh, MTN and Coca-Cola and so many other companies. Mm -hmm. And so um, what happened was my fraternity decided to come aboard and help us out with this Water for Life initiative and do boreholes in community. Mm -hmm. For those who are watching uh, your fraternity, explain yes. fraternity just a little bit. For those who, who don't know what that fraternity is, okay. what it's about, this was, uh, this is the first, or is it the first or the only black frat? Are there frat? No, frat? there are other black fraternities okay. in the U.S. There are nine fraternities. We're called the D9. Um, you have Alphas, Kappas, um, Sigmas, uh, Omega Psi Phi is the name of my fraternity. Okay. And they've been around for hundreds of years in mm. the U.S., you know, mm. over a hundred years. Um, they're entrenched in the black community. They help... Um, during the civil rights and, you know, mm -hmm, they're all mm -hmm. educated men mm -hmm. who are doing great things in American society. Jesse and Jackson is a Omega Psi Jesse Omega Jackson Omega, is a yeah. member of my fraternity okay, Omega Psi okay. uh, You have um, um, so many people throughout history. Mm. Uh, you have Michael Jordan, one of the best basketball players that ever lived, Shaquille O'Neal, and even comedians such as yourself. Um, um, as you know, um, we have the Family Feud guy that's been coming out here, uh, Steve, Steve Harvey. Harvey. Yes, yeah. he's one of my fraternity yeah. members. Yeah. And so, you know, they're very important people who mm. are successful in mm. society. And we, you know, we want to mentor other people and other, you know, black okay. men to also become great. So how did you tap into them so that you get them to at least uh, give back? Yes. And this time they're giving back to yes. Africa. They're giving yes. to Ghana. Yes, yes. Well, it came, it's a really unique story. Um, you know, I joined the fraternity in 87, a long time ago. When I first came to Ghana, I met Dr. Brian Cox at the Spinal Clinic. Mm -hmm, and he's also mm -hmm. a member. He's been a member since 92. And mm. so we petitioned our national headquarters to help us open a chapter here in Ghana. And luckily, we're able to do that. We're able to bring in some other men who have the same like minds and like interests. Mm. And as we're growing the chapter, we really want to bring, again, Ghanaian men, mm -hmm. you know, aboard who are mm -hmm. successful, who are doing well in the community, bring people up from the university level to join this uh, fraternity mm -hmm. that is Christian-based, mm -hmm. that is doing wonderful things throughout the world, you mm -hmm. know. And so, mm -hmm. um, you know, that is what we really want to do. Mm -hmm. and, and just to bring it back to this borehole project, you know, during the 2019 year of return, 
our fraternity executive board, the president and other leaders came to Ghana mm -hmm. to see some of the work that I was doing. They donated a borehole, two boreholes. And so we commissioned them at our Capone School for the Blind mm -hmm. and another uh, community. And when they saw how people were excited to have water and how water was mm. saving lives, you know, mm. they were amazed. And they went back and they put together their collective vision and said, we are committed to do 24 boreholes throughout all of Ghana. And right now we have done 12 and we are on the way to finish the other wow. 12 before the end of the year. That is, that is fantastic. <laughs> That is fantastic. So they were so impressed with the two that you had done. Yes. They made a commitment to build 24. 24 boreholes. And so far you have 12. So far we have done 12. Mm -hmm. And it's mm -hmm. by the different chapters in the U.S., the different wealthy men in the U.S., mm -hmm. uh, different you know, districts. Everybody is pulling their resources mm -hmm. together to mm -hmm. do this. When we finished this, we would have just spent about $150,000 doing boreholes in different communities mm -hmm. throughout Ghana. Mm -hmm. So it's a very, very impressive effort that yeah, the attorney yeah. is doing. And I'm very, very also impressed uh, by the fact that you, being a member of the FRAT, you come to Africa and decide to tap into the FRAT, and they also are so committed that they are also now giving back yes, to... Yes. Fantastic. fantastic. And, and it's, it's really a wonderful thing, you know, because... A lot of people have been coming back to Ghana, our African-American brothers in the States, you know, they've been coming through the year of return and doing all this tourism. Mm -hmm. But the thing is that what we want to encourage people to do is to give back. You know, don't just come for tourism and to, you know, hang out at the beaches and stuff, you know. Mm, come and also give back. Commit to something. Commit you to can something. Do, do something mm. to help our people. Because as much as you see Ghana doing well, we're still a developing nation. Mm -hmm. There are still mm -hmm. so many villages, so many communities mm -hmm. that don't have access to safe, clean drinking water, mm. causing a lot of diseases such as, yeah. you know, cholera and diarrhea. And, and a lot of the infant mortality rates are based on just not having access mm -hmm. to clean, mm -hmm. safe drinking water. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You did one recently because I read that in the paper. I'm sure most have been coming up. But one that I recently picked up uh, uh, was in someone in You did something yes, recently. Yes. We did um, one in Aquapim. Uh, they just seated a new um, Paramount chief there. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the things that he saw in his community was a place called Nifa High School. Uh, mm -hmm. The high school did, was really not having access to water. The kids would actually go out into the community to fetch water, mm -hmm. you know, before they go to school. And so my fraternity, again, sent funds over, and we were able to go to the Nifa High School and build a borehole right on the campus so that they have access to water and can easily study without having to go out and go fetch out, water in the yeah. community. Yeah. 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 That is, that is, that is, that is awesome. Um, how was your... Well, you joined the Black Frat there, yeah, you know, because yeah. um, when I, in my freshman year in okay, the U.S., you okay. know, unfortunately there were no Black Frats in my school. Okay, it was okay. mostly white, right? You right. know, Alpha Delta Phi, right, Psi right, right. You, right. You're them. <laughs> exactly, exactly. But you, you, you were able to tap into the Black Frat because you right. was it a black school you went? What university no, were you? I went to all white school. Oh, really? But, yeah, the fraternities are in almost every university now. You know, I see. they're almost in every major city. And so I identified Omega Sci-Fi as an organization that had like minds and like ideals, mm -hmm. you know, that, that mm -hmm. I have. And so I was really in, impressed with what they were doing, you know, their mentorship of, of black men. And so I joined the fraternity, you know, there. And even our great uh, president, founder of Ghana, um, uh, Kwame, Kwame Nkrumah, Kuma. he joined a fraternity when he was at Lincoln mm -hmm. University in mm -hmm. Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. And that fraternity is called Phi Beta Sigma. And so oh, you, you have Phi Beta? I yes, didn't know. Yeah, Phi Beta Sigma <laughs> is the one he wrote. Okay, yeah. okay. And then you even have, you know, people like Martin Luther King, you know, who's an alpha, you know. You have so many great people that are entrenched in this fraternity system mm -hmm. that are doing great, great things in, you know, in the U.S. And mm -hmm. so we want to bring that fraternity here in Ghana. Mm -hmm. and show How strong is the one in Ghana? Who are some of the members? Well, in Ghana, we just, we, me and Dr. Cox, we founded the fraternity in 2011. Okay. And 2013, we brought our first four group of men over. Mm -hmm. We had uh, Kwab Asamoah, who's... Um, um, the owner of uh, Custom, Custom Lux, one of the Custom, big yeah. designers He's been on this Ghana. show. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Very prominent designer in yeah. Ghana. Uh, you have uh, Jimmy Thorne, you know, who's a, a great, one of the black golfers and promoting the golfing business here in Ghana. Uh, you have Robert Potts, who owns uh, C2I Security, and they manage uh, Moven Pick and Bellagio and other places with over 400 employees. So we have men that have like minds and like ideas, and we're mm. trying to bring together to join and grow the fraternity. Mm. It's the only one in Africa. You know, and mm -hmm. you have like 
hundreds of thousands of black men that are in the fraternity in the U.S. and all around the world. Mm -hmm. But in Ghana, mm -hmm. it's only us. And so we're trying to grow that influence here in Africa. Fantastic, yes, fantastic. Sir. Do you have a list of where you have been so far in terms of where you have your projects? Bo Bo yes, yes, yes. Um, the boreholes right now, they're doing uh, great. You know, we've we went to um, 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 Somenya. We did one in Somenya. We went to Akwamufi and did one in Akwamufi mm. on the other side of Akosombo. Uh, we went to Kumasi and did one in Konim Menshia Palace. Um, and that one, again, you know, some of the, uh, the Minister of Education and other people identified that mm -hmm. area. And so mm -hmm. we went there and did a borehole for them. Uh, we went to Cape Coast and did one um, at Cape Coast, and that was also in the paper. Uh, so we were just trying to go around and identify mm -hmm. the places that are really in need of water. Mm -hmm. And again, through my nonprofit, my NGO, having worked in so many communities, I know these communities and okay. know the way the need is. And so okay. it's just a... Uh, and I like the whole idea of water for life, you know, yes, yes. looking for clean water so that yes. leads to a healthier nation exactly and, exactly, and the rest of it. Yeah. yeah, and it's so funny, you know, here even in Accra, when you're driving around in town, you see people with buckets on yeah, their head trying to get yeah, water just to yeah. bathe before they go to work, mm. you know. So even as much as we're developed, there's still a great need, uh, mm. you know, for water. Mm. And we just, you know, hope that even after our brothers and sisters in the States, you know, leave, that us Ghanaians that are owning businesses and into philanthropy mm -hmm. will also give back and help us to, you know, help improve the water okay. situation okay. Yeah, okay. in Ghana. So since you'll be back now going straight into NGO and focusing on corporate social responsibility, yes, what has been your experience so far and what word do you want Ghanaians to be aware of okay. in terms of how needed this is? Right. Well, you know, and that's one of the reasons that my organization or my nonprofit is called Team CSR, because corporate social responsibility is something that is known worldwide. You know, every company in yeah. the U.S. and worldwide, yeah. they give to projects and things like that. But Ghana, you know, corporate social responsibility is not really being managed well. You know, it's not being done. Mm. People, they might go and do a photo op, a donation, and take some pictures yeah. and leave. But we need to do impactful stuff. Things that are changing. You mean it's not being lives. developed into like an institution yes, yes. where people know that. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, and how do you recommend that? I, I think the biggest thing that could really help this is the government giving an incentive for people to give. In the U.S., is a tax write-off. Yeah. Yeah. You know, if you give, it's an instant tax write-off on yeah. your taxes when you, yeah. you know, at the end of the year. And so if the government would at least uh, provide an incentive for companies to give back to communities, I think it would go a long way mm. to people feeling mm. more free to give mm. back. Yeah. So, that's, so that that's there's something that in it for a company yes. who's doing CSR that at least I get some tax breaks here exactly. and I can do this. That. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And I can help other people at the same time. And so I think that's one thing that, you know, even with my NGO, we're trying to push, you know, to get the government to change some of these rules and, mm. and help companies, incentivize com uh, mm. companies to do more mm. as far as helping our own people. Mm. Yes, Because, mm. you know, we, I mean, really, it depends on us to help ourselves. We can't always yeah. ask for help yeah. from outside, yeah. you know. Yeah. We have enough wealth here in Ghana mm -hmm. to even help our, ourselves. Mm -hmm. You know, we mm -hmm. can't rely on the government to do everything, mm -hmm. you know. So mm -hmm. that's my wish, and I'm hoping it, it works yeah. out. Yeah, I'm sure, because I, I know, and um, especially now this whole idea of private and public partnership thing exactly. is going and so if we can have a way to carve into it right the corporate right. really thing right that counts with some kind of tax breaks whatever exactly i think it will it will help it will help mm. a lot you know mm. and so you know we're hoping that the work that we're doing would also help companies you know see you know that this is what we need to be doing you know mm -hmm. because it's very mm -hmm. sad when you have a high infant mortality rate in Ghana, yeah. and most of it is due to just access to water. water. You know, yeah. access to clean, safe drinking water mm. can stop things such as cholera, diarrhea, and these things that are killing kids before the age of five, you mm. know. And mm. so that is something that, you know, is in my heart, is in my fraternity's heart to give back to, and we're really committed to doing that. Okay, okay. Show yeah. some love, man. Now, in terms of um, Team CSR, yes, yes. is it... Can you tell us a little bit? Can people join you? Yes, yes. Corporations. Yes, um, I want you to. Yes, yes. Whatever team, we team need to CSR, know. Team CSR Ghana. Um, as you know, we're a nonprofit. Um, we're working with uh, corporate bodies. You know, we've been blessed to work with some big corporations, but we need more assistance. You know, mm. again, as you know, in Ghana, raising funds is very, very difficult. Yeah. And so yeah. we're asking people to help join our cause, um, get involved in our Water for Life initiative, uh, get involved with some of the other projects that mm -hmm. we're doing. 
um, just so that we can help make Ghana a better place, you know, for everybody. Mm. And so, um, you know, we're requesting people to join us, you know, go on, go online. You know, we have a website, we have a number you can call. Mm. Um, all of that is available mm. for people to access. I'm going to ask you to put that number out in okay. a few minutes. But before then, uh, Jonathan, are you uh, married with kids in Ghana? Yes, or yes, yes, I'm are married. You? I yeah, here or they're there? No, here. here. Oh, yeah, here. I'm married okay. here. I have a beautiful son. He's six years old now. You know, since I was on your show, you know, I've gone through all that process. Got okay. married, have, have a child, and, um, you know, I just love it. I'm in touch with my kids in the U.S. as well. Okay. Um, you know, but, you know, I, I'm inviting them to come back. You know, there's so mm. much going on in the U.S. You know, just come back and see the peace of Ghana and enjoy Ghana as well. You know, there's so much going on in the States that I, I fear for my children's safety. You know, yeah. this is your daughter when she went back to school. You know, she's a great friend of mine and she's doing good over there as well. And so, you know, we just want people to also come back and, mm -hmm. and give back to Ghana mm -hmm. as well, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I have, to, I have to say this before I leave, you know, um, even with like you, for example, you know, we need more celebrities to give back. The way that you invite me on your show and had me on before and give back. You know, when I first came to Ghana, I did a fundraiser and um, you didn't really know me at all. And I said, Kesson, would you please help me with this fundraiser and just come and entertain the crowd? And you didn't even blink an eye. You didn't even say, let me think about it. You said, sure, I'll do it, Jonathan. And you came and helped me do the fundraiser at, um, um, uh, what is that place called? The, the Beach Hotel, Labadi La Beach Body? Hotel, the Palm yes. Royal La Beach Palm. Hotel. Yes, yes. And you did a comedian stand-up uh, um, when I was with United Way. It's even on my website. You know. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> I, I mean, forgot about that. I know. know, but you did that just to spur the moment, you know. And so we need celebrities to also step up and help, just like you're doing, you know. Um, work with people, you know, local people, you know, help um, uh, broadcast or showcase the efforts that local people are doing. And you do a great job with that. So I have to clap for a clear <laughs> <thing as well. laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you for picking me up on my show. Yes, sir, I, it's, it's greatly appreciated. I forgot, but um, yeah. it's good to know that um, people remember and, uh, you know. But yeah. let me not forget, um, yeah. what number can people call you if they want to... No problem. If you want to reach out to Team CSR, you can call us 057-229-1549. Again, that's 057-229-1549. You can also go to our website. That's www.teamcsrghana.org. Again, that's www.teamcsrghana.org. And folks, the, the information is right there on your screen right now both the number and the website and um let's join let's help him let's help ourselves really that's what it boils down to you know um it got my attention when i read that there's a Ghanaian in the u.s working so hard to help the homeless in the u.s that was the thing that got my attention so um knowing that he has come back to ghana and to help i think the least we can do is to support him and support team CSR. Yes, sir. Yes, okay. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jonathan, thank you so much. Thank you, too. Do you have any parting words before you? Well, um, yeah, I just want to, um, you know, thank everybody that's helped us out. You know, I want to thank my grand boss list in the U.S., Dr. Mm. David Marion, um, for getting behind our initiative, what we're doing here in Ghana, and all my friends, you know, Dr. Brian Cox and, you know, what he's doing here in Ghana and just... You know, we just want everybody to, you know, help lift up Ghana, you know. It's fantastic, Ghana, fantastic. Yes. And Dr. Brian Cox will be coming at you very soon. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Thank and um, stick around, folks. Uh, coming up next is uh, uh, another angel in our midst, and she happens to be called Angel Bettino. In the meantime, Jonathan, thank power you. to you thank and you. all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Stick around, folks. We'll be right back. ASM show. Hi, folks. Are you having any gathering? Is it is it like an adoring a dinner? Whatever it is, you know it. If it's going to go with wine, there's only one brand of wine you can think of, and that's Man Wine. Whether they're looking for red wine or white wine, the name is Man Wine. 
Etie fo se wo pe wine and sata me pa chopi she man family wine am rantie me ensa wo mu free stellenberg south africa ye ne chira kwan red wine na wudo ni bi any cabernet sauvignon melo and asira white wine and so ebini chardonnay and chanel blanc wo pe se wo enjoy wine ya me pa chopi white wine no seven eyes cold and a red wine and so man nya cool kakra wo pa chi de bi dia mo peni bi a man man family wine wo ye party and a year so a ma o rain free man family wine artist option was spintex road in crank one and a year so distributor a wo gana at the phone for 020 811 0659 261161 and a 020 816 1601 man family wine obia see a year nominian semu want to many power when you fear do much and says a painful numbia fda as you just saw a jdn crack to imagine to say a year Hey folks, it's a long weekend starting today. You know, it's a very, very long weekend. But whatever you're doing, Sunday, check out the Cactus Creek for their lunch. If you Cactus Creek this Sunday, call right now and make a reservation. The number is 055 039 Creek is 055 039 5007.